I'm Mike Huckman at the BioBuzz Center, and it is my pleasure to welcome to the BioBuzz Center Bahija Jamal, who is the Executive Vice President of AstraZeneca and also Head of Metamune, AstraZeneca's subsidiary. It's a pleasure to have you here, and thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Mr. Lal, today here at the Bio International Convention, you sat on what is called a super session panel. <laughs> Uh, the topic was immuno-oncology, a super session panel, I guess you could think about as kind of a plenary session if this were a medical or a scientific meeting. You know, immuno-oncology is a very hot topic right now coming out of the cancer conference, the American Society of Clinical Oncology meeting recently where AstraZeneca and Metamune presented a lot of data. So what was the consensus of this panel today regarding the promise of this science? Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, the consensus was that immunotherapy is absolutely transformational. I think we are living an extraordinary time in oncology. Hmm. Uh, there is uh, you know, new hope for, for the patients. It's a new area of science, but it's showing such a huge promise uh, that opens up um, a lot, a lot of, of venues for, uh, for the patients and for the scientific community. So Ms. Jalal, do you think that, that Metamune, AstraZeneca, and the industry, generally speaking, is on the cusp of making more than incremental progress in the fight against cancer? Absolutely. I have absolutely no doubt about that. I think it has, the breakthrough really happened already in, uh, in melanoma, but I think the excitement about the immunotherapy is to see that it's not just confined to melanoma. We've seen activity in non-small cell lung cancer. We've seen activity in other tumors. So now we actually us and everybody else shown that we can harness the power of the immune system to fight cancer. It is absolutely possible and we're just at the start. Mr. Law, please don't take this the wrong way, but time was not too long ago when people in the industry thought of Metamune. They thought of Flumist, the flu vaccine that's inhaled through the nose, and they thought of Humira, which is one of the world's most widely used medications which came out of Metamune laboratories. How is it that in a relatively short amount of time, that you have reamassed critical mass in the pipeline and specifically in oncology, as we've been talking about. Well, th that's a great heritage, you have to admit already, you know, Humira and, uh, and Flumist. Uh, well, so this is what happened, I think, when uh, AstraZeneca bought Metamune, it was to, to invest in increasing the biologics. So the biologics were 5% at that time mm -hmm. of AstraZeneca's pipeline. And what we did, you know, we put our head down and we, we went absolutely after our strategy to increase the biologics in areas where we have um, uh, we had uh, experience uh, and expertise. So in oncology, definitely AstraZeneca was in oncology. We uh, we have our expertise in biologics, and that's how we we went. The if you look at Humira and the Flumis and everything, what's underlying that is is also the immunology. So we have strength in immunology in Metamune. We have strength in our technology, and we put the two together. So today we are the biologics are 50% of AstraZeneca's pipeline, and that's what you have seen is we put our head down and we did it. And finally, some of that I would imagine has come through partnerships and collaborations. And speaking of that, you're among a, a, a handful of industri industry companies that just announced a very unique partnership between industry, government agencies, uh, academic centers, hospital uh, uh, medical centers as well, and patient groups as well, to try to make sure that the right patient is put into the right group in the right study. You said it very well. I think this is a, a breakthrough and, and a really groundbreaking collaboration that uh, we believe it's, is good for the patients, is good for the infrastructure, the, the, whole, the whole system. And so we're very, very happy because we have one arm of this study that has five arms. One arm will be using our uh, immunotherapy, PDL1. And we're very happy to participate because you can imagine as a patient, now you have the possibility to come, you get your, your, um, your tumor tested, and you are guaranteed to go to one of these five, uh, five arms speed, but also hope for the patients. The, the promise of precision medicine. Bahija Jalal, the Executive Vice President of AstraZeneca, the head of Metamune, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Here at the BioBus Hub.